Mr. Speaker, sir, the ballot paper is the instrument by which a voter exercises his right to vote for the candidates of his choice in an election. Section 1.3 of the first schedule to the Constitution of Mauritius provides that, I quote, every vote cast by an elector at any election shall be given by means of a ballot which, except in so far as may be otherwise prescribed, in relation to the casting of votes by electors who are incapacitated by blindness or other physical cause or unable to read or understand any symbols on the ballot paper shall be taken so as not to disclose how any vote is cast and no vote cast by any elector at any general election shall be counted unless he cast valid votes for free candidates in the constituency in which he is registered or, in the case of an elector registered in Rodrigues, for two candidates in that constituency." Unquote. Both the design and form of a ballot paper are prescribed in Regulation 21 of the National Assembly Elections Regulations 2014, which provide that, I quote, subsection 1, in the case of a poll at an election, the votes shall be given by a ballot, subsection 2a. The ballot of each elector shall consist of a ballot paper showing the full name and description of each candidate, the symbol of identification allotted to each candidate, and in the case of a general election, the party or party alliance, if any, to which he belongs, and B, each ballot paper shall, subsection 1, be in the form 6, or where the electoral commissioner is of opinion that, in view of the number of candidates, it is impracticable to make use of form 6 in form 6A, to have a number printed on its verso, and free, have attached to it a counterfoil with the same number printed on its rector." Unquote. There are two types of ballot papers, namely ordinary ones and tendered ones. With regard to tendered ballot papers, Regulation 31.1a, National Assembly Elections Regulations 2014, provides that, and I quote, where a person representing himself to be an elector, whose name is on the register, applies for a ballot paper after another person has already voted as that elector, the person shall, after satisfactorily answering the questions referred to in Regulation 29.1, be entitled to mark a tendered ballot paper which is of a different color in the same manner as any other elector." Unquote. I wish to highlight that the Office of the Electoral Commissioner has confirmed that the preparation and printing of ballot papers pursuant to the provisions of the National Assembly Election Regulations have always been strictly adhered to for all elections. Mr. Speaker, sir, with regard to Part A of the question, I am informed by the Office of the Electoral Commissioner that, given that Regulation 14.1 of the National Assembly Elections Regulations 2014 provides that a candidate may, not more than three days after nomination day, withdraw his candidature, the list of candidates for each constituency is finalized after the deadline for withdrawal of candidates. It is only then that the printing of ballot papers can begin, and this process must be completed at least three days before polling, polling day. For instance, in 2019, National Assembly elections, which were held within the minimum time frame, provided for in the representation of the People Act, this exercise had to be completed within 10 days. 
Section 41.2 of the Representation of the People Act provides that, I quote, the day of election appointed under subsection 1b shall be not less than 15 days, no more than 30 days after the day on which the writ is issued, and the day on which a poll is to be taken shall be not less than 15, no more than 60 days after the day on which the nomination of candidates for the election is received." Unquote. Therefore, if the interval between the nomination day and the polling day is longer, the period within which the ballot papers have to be printed would be longer. Mr. Speaker, sir, with regard to part B of the question, the Office of the Electoral Commissioner has informed in categorical terms that the printing of ballot papers is exclusively carried out at the Government Printing Department under strict police surveillance on a 24-hour basis. This has invariably been the case for all elections since before independence. Furthermore, this exercise is carried out under the supervision of the Office of the Electoral Commissioner and the Electoral Supervisory Commission. This ensures the integrity and security of the ballot papers throughout the printing process. I am, in, I am further informed that ballot papers are printed in booklets containing either 100, 50, or 25 ballot papers, while tendered ballot papers are made up in booklets of five or ten in a different color. For the 2019 National Assembly elections, ordinary ballot papers were printed in booklets of 100 and booklets of 25, while standard ballot papers were printed in booklets of five. The quantity of ordinary and tendered ballot papers printed for each constituency, polling station, and voting room is meticulously determined through a detailed process. The exact number needed is carefully calculated to ensure that there is a sufficient number of ballot papers for the electoral process. Once the number of ballot papers is determined, the required number of ballot papers is then transcribed and noted in a document called the distribution of ballot papers. This document serves as an official record ensuring transparency and accountability in the distribution of ballot papers. Mr. Speaker, sir, the Office of the Electoral Commissioner has again highlighted that as has always been the practice, ballot papers are printed at the government printing department and nowhere else, and will continue to be printed thereat under the supervision of the government printer, the Office of the Electoral Commissioner, and the Electoral Supervisory Commission. Ballot papers have never been printed outside the government printing department. There has also never been any outsourcing of the printing of ballot papers to private printers, as was falsely alleged by some after the 2019 National Assembly elections. And in the electoral petition lodged by Dr. Navin Chandra Ramgulam on 28th of November 2019, where he alleged that ballot papers were printed at the premises of quad printing at Coromandel. What a shame. I am informed that as soon as the writ of election is issued, meetings are held with the government printer and the police department with respect to security measures, the printing and transportation of the ballot papers to the office of the electoral commissioner. After the ballot papers are printed, they are handed over to the officer in charge of the Office of the Electoral Commissioner and conveyed to the Office of the Electoral Commissioner under armed police escort. At the Office of the Electoral Commissioner, 
the ballot papers are verified and sealed in black stationary boxes and kept under lock and key and guarded on a 24-hour basis by officers of the Special Supporting Unit. In accordance with a pre-established itinerary, two days prior to the polling day, the sealed black stationary boxes are then conveyed under armed police escort to police stations in the respective constituencies under the supervision of the returning officers. The sealed black stationary boxes are then placed in a strong room for safe custody and the doors are sealed by the returning officer. The returning officer will take over the sealed black stationary boxes in the early morning of the polling day to be handed over to respective senior presiding officers. The senior presiding officers will then transport the sealed black stationary boxes to their respective polling stations under armed police escort. Regulation 28.1 of the National Assembly Election Regulations 2014 provides that, I quote, every ballot paper shall bear an official mark which shall be embossed or perforated and a printer's design, unquote. Before a ballot paper is delivered to a voter, it shall bear an official mark which shall be embossed or perforated by the presiding officer at the bottom next to the printer's design. The official mark is kept secret and is different for each constituency and an interval of not less than five years shall intervene between the use of the same official mark at elections for the same constituency in line with Regulation 28.1 and 2 of the National Assembly Elections Regulations 2014. Mr. Speaker, sir, as regards to Part C of the question, the Office of the Electoral Commissioner has informed that, as has always been the case, including for the National Assembly Elections 2019, the document detailing the distribution of ballot papers was available for consultation in the office of the senior presiding officer at each polling station. Moreover, Honorable David may recall that when he was a candidate for constituency number one, Grand River Northwest, and Port Louis West for the 2019 National Assembly elections, he was, on nomination day, handed over a letter to candidate by the returning officer, wherein he was informed of inter alia. I quote, the number of ballot papers allocated to each voting room may be consulted in the office of the senior presiding officer at every polling station, unquote. This letter to candidate was handed over to all candidates for the 2019 National Assembly elections, and this has been the case for all elections. Mr. Speaker, sir, it must be highlighted that since the last village council elections in 2020, a copy of the distribution of ballot papers is now handed over to all candidates on nomination day. This measure was also applied for the Rodrigues Regional Assembly elections in 2022. Similarly, the same principle was adopted for the National Assembly by election in constituency number 10, Montaille Blanche and Grand River Southeast, scheduled to be held on 9th of October mm -hmm. this year. This measure will be applied for all future elections, including the forthcoming National Assembly elections. Mr. Speaker, sir, the Office of the Electoral Commissioner has also emphasized that no surplus, ordinary or tendered ballot papers are printed other than those indicated in the distribution of ballot papers. Honorable David, we have exceeded quite some time on this question. I will allow uh, two, supplementary, two supplementary questions from your side and one from government side, provided that no more than five minutes is spent. Merci, Monsieur le Président. 
Selon les informations dont je dispose, pour les dernières élections nationales de 2019, un total de bulletins de vote additionnels sur les 21 circonscriptions de 40 481 bulletins en surplus ont été imprimés. Et avec des pourcentages de surplus différents, disparates, d'une circonscription à l'autre, allant de moins d'un pour cent dans certaines circonscriptions à un maximum de 8,5% pour la circonscription numéro 8. Puis-je demander au Premier ministre le raisonnement du bureau du commissaire électoral derrière l'impression d'un nombre de bulletins additionnels différents d'une circonscription à l'autre Monsieur le Président, c'est ça le problème avec l'opposition. Ils sont toujours en denial mode. Ils pensent toujours que les élections ont été truquées. Alors qu'ils ont, qu ils ont, qu ils ont eu leur pétition devant la Cour, je ne vais pas mentionner combien, sept ont été retirés. Sept. Et parmi, il y avait des allégations telles que l'honorable membre vient de faire à l'Assemblée aujourd'hui. Et sept qui ont été retirés, ils n'ont même pas eu le courage d'aller déposer en cours pour venir prouver ce qu'ils sont en train de dire. Donc, Monsieur le Président, le, le, je ne sais pas comment on va faire comprendre à cette opposition qu'il ne doit pas être de mauvais perdants. Vous avez perdu les élections, acceptez, acceptez le verdict de la population et, et, et n'essayez pas de trouver... Et n'essayez pas de trouver des prétextes, euh, comme vient de le faire l'honorable le, le, membre qui vient dire qu'il ah, y a eu tant de... de il y a des discrepancies. Et, well, then why did you not substantiate this in court? Uh, you are saying that you have information. Can you table the information that you have to show that this, uh, there has been irregularity? Table, we'll see whether you are serious. You have not been able to prove before a court, and now you're coming before this uh, parliament because here, of course, you can say anything. Yes, Honorable Bonabas Mamoud. Following the reply from the Prime Minister, can the Honorable Prime Minister state whether the subject matter of the question was mentioned in the electoral petition of the opposition in the aftermatch of the 2019? general election and whether there has been any ruling of our court thereon. Yes, well, Mr. Speaker, sir, as the House is aware, 12 election petitions were lodged before our courts in the aftermath of the 2019 general election. Seven were withdrawn, four were heard and dismissed with cost. And in the remaining case, there has been a recount and the results were maintained. Now, an election petition was lodged by one of the unsuccessful candidates of constituency number 10, Montaille Blanche and Grand River Southeast, namely your leader, Dr. Navin Chandra Ramgulam, on 28th of November 2019, wherein several allegations were made on the conduct of those elections. And one of one of those allegations made by Dr. Rangulam was that ballot papers were printed outside government printing office. He averred in his petition that he had, and I quote, just like the honorable member is saying, first hand information. This is, I quote what he said, first hand information to the effect that ballot papers were printed outside the government printing office premises at the premises of quad printing at Coromandel. This fact casts a cloud of corruption and deviousness on the election process as there is real likelihood that stuffing would have occurred nationwide, including constituency number 10. Would have occurred nationwide, including his constituency." Unquote. Now, when requested by way of a demand of particulars, by respondent number four, that is the electoral commissioner, on 13th of January 2022, to communicate documentary evidence showing that ballot papers 
were allegedly printed outside government printing office at the premises of quad printing at Coromandel. You know what Dr. Rangulam had answered? Before a court of law, I quote, no documentary evidence was available. No documentary evidence. The petitioner just made serious allegations and when asked to submit particulars, I must say, he ran away. He ran away like a coward, la queue entre les jambes. He never came to proof of those averments he made in his petition. Tout comme vous êtes retourné la queue entre les jambes aujourd'hui dans la chambre. Hein? So, order. 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 So instead, order. So, order. So, order. so instead of. Show the example. No, no, order. Order. You should show the example. Right. He has the floor. Prime Minister, please. I continue. correct. La, okay, I correct. As I said before, la vieille, vieille queue. Yeah. <laughs> so, in fact, in fact, Mr. Speaker, no, sir, the more time never you waste, came I, to proof. Sorry, okay, Prime Minister, I'm, let me interrupt you. The more time you waste, I was inclined to give a last question, but you're wasting time. So you decide if you want to. Honorable okay. Prime Minister. So in, in, instead, instead of coming to the proof of those averments before a court of law, he withdrew his case purely and simply. Comme j'ai dit, Monsieur le Président, vile allegations were made by the opposition against the Electoral Commissioner, against the Electoral Commissioner's office and the Electoral Supervisory Commission. Even civil servants who worked on the day of the elections were not spared. But finally, all the allegations have been proved to be false and malicious. I must say shame on them. And today, they are still trying to cast doubt on the election process. And the only explanation to that, as I say, is simple, because they know that the elections were conducted in such a way that it cannot, I'm, I, I wouldn't say it cannot, but I would say it was not rigged. And as comme des mauvais perdants, ils veulent pas accepter le verdict de la population. Right. Honorable David, very concisely. Your last question. Monsieur le Président, 60 secondes. Je n'ai fait aucune allégation et je n'ai parlé en aucune no, façon no, d'impression no, 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 en dehors no, 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 du gouvernement printing. That you can take later on the point of personal explanation. Just ask your question concisely. Le Premier ministre l'a lui-même dit dans sa réponse initiale. L'impression se fait par livret de 100 ou de 25. Donc ne peut en aucune façon tali avec le nombre d'électeurs dans chacune des 20 circonscriptions. Ce qui oblige la commission électorale d'imprimer un surplus de bulletins de vote. Je demande au Premier ministre, peut-il nous expliquer le raisonnement derrière le nombre d'impressions différentes dans chacune des 21 circonscriptions, ce qui a amené à plus de 40 000 bulletins de vote additionnels pour les dernières élections. Oui, Prime Minister, oui. Honorable Member, it's a shame that you've uh, you repeated a question. He has replied earlier. Yeah. You, you insist on this question. Okay. I'm not going, Mr. Speaker, sir, I'm not going to repeat what I've said before because, the, as you say, it's the same question. But let me add one thing. The Honourable Member does not realise one thing, that a voter peut ne pas avoir euh, voté euh, comme il l'a voulu et gâcher son bulletin de ce fait. Qu'est-ce qu'il fait Il peut quand même euh, demander à ce qu'il puisse avoir un nouveau bulletin. Donc, il faut toujours avoir des bulletins ad additionnels. Ce n'est pas ces bulletins... Je sais qu'est-ce qui se passe dans votre tête. Dans votre tête, c'est que vous croyez qu'on a imprimé, que le, le, pas nous, on a imprimé, on a fait imprimer, le, le Electoral Commission a fait imprimer les bulletins, pour ensuite, sûrement, que vous, peut-être vous êtes en train de préparer euh, les prétextes pour la prochaine élection, que, que vous allez certainement faire, qu'on va, on va donc ajouter ces bulletins dans les boîtes. Enfin... I, I, I hope, well, I, I, I hope that you are different from the other members, that you realize that this cannot be and will, will, not, will never happen. It cannot happen. Right. 